Yo, what's going on guys? Justin Miller here with another tutorial coming at you because today it is Friday and on Fridays I do tutorials. Except for today it's not going to be a Friday, it's going to be Saturday. Sorry that I'm uploading these late. I have been reading some comments and I've been, I've been trying to find some comments that I could be doing tutorials to. So that's what I've been doing, that's why I haven't posted this on Friday. But today I'm going to teach you guys how to do the chromatic aberration effect aka old VHS effect. So pretty much it's going to look a little bit like this. You can see like around the edges, it's going to be a little bit like um, RGB split type deal. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. First you're going to open up HitFilm 4 Express. Now you're going to go to the link in the description of my video and download my presets. Once you do that, you're going to go to the effects column, right click and click import presets. Select the three presets that I give you titled R, G, and B. Then you're going to want to drag your footage into your timeline. Then press Control M or Command M if you're on Mac. Then that will make a composite shot of the video. Now you're going to want to duplicate that footage so that way there's three different layers. Now you're just going to want to go ahead and drag R, G, and B onto each one of those layers in a sequential order of R, G, and B. Now you're going to notice that everything looks red. That's totally okay. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press shift. Once you press shift, that's going to allow you to select all of those layers. Now you're going to want to right click on them and set the blend mode to add. This will make everything look normal. Now you're going to go into the green and blue channels, which is the last two on the bottom. Then you're going to select the scale for the green channel, set the scale to 110%, and for the blue channel, set the scale to 120%. This will make it have that fringing effect. If you want less, then change it. So that's what you're going to want to do to make the chromatic aberration effect. That's all you have to do, so make sure that you click that top link in the description to download my preset. It'll just save you a lot of time, um, and that's pretty much all you have to do. So I want to thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope that you guys, hopefully that you guys found that helpful. If you guys didn't find it helpful, drop a comment down below so you can tell me what I did wrong if I'm, you know, doing whatever. Also, drop a comment down below for a tutorial that you want to see next time because I will always be trying to do your tutorial comments. So. Make sure that you guys drop a like if you liked the video, drop a dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't already, let's get us to 100 subscribers, and I will see you guys in the next video.